Well, hello everyone. I hope you can all hear me okay. You can see the image. I'm here live now for our final assembly. So I'd like to offer a very warm welcome to this last assembly of the term. And I'm so glad you could make it. It's going to be a slightly different order, and we're not going to be doing the normal things for the final assembly. But this will be an opportunity for something a little bit special for your form tutors to join us and they have messages as well to add to this. We'll be looking at the final points as well for everything that you've done in terms of your sections as well. Those will be 100 and 150 point winners will be announced today as well. But more on that in a moment. I think it's important that we start this final assembly with a few thank yous. And firstly, I'd like to thank your parents. We couldn't have achieved what we've done without them. Your parents' support for you personally and in your learning, and also the support of the teachers and how they've helped us has been so important. And we need to recognize their role and what they've been doing over this term. So please remember to say thank you to your parents often and sincerely. Secondly, I'd like to thank your teachers. To have moved to remote learning so quickly, so professionally, and committedly shows you just how amazing they are and how lucky we are to have such great teachers at peace. I know many of you have been sending messages of thanks and appreciation to your teachers and I just want you to know how much they all appreciate that. So whilst many of the teachers have been working incredibly hard from home, many members of staff have been coming to school to look after the children of key worker families. And to our parents who have been working on the front line to battle this pandemic, I send my and our whole community's heartfelt thanks. So from half-term pupils in years six, reception and year one came as well, started coming back into school. So I want to thank Mr. Morris and Miss Larkin. They have kept up the energy to an incredible level since half-term and they've been really extraordinary. I'd also like to thank the family, Mr. Gisby, Miss Snelling, Mrs. Maynard, Mrs. Kenwood, Miss Brodie, Miss Barrett, and Mrs. Ram, who have all been in to help. And I really hope I haven't missed anyone else off on that list. But I want to say as well a huge thanks for the superb coordination by my deputy head, Mr. Newbury. And of course, Mrs. Kerrigan has been a tower of strength with her amazing team in the nursery too. Our cleaners have been central to everything. And I want to thank each and every one of them for helping make the school safe. You know, they've been in from around 4 a.m. every morning and they've worked tirelessly throughout the past 11 weeks. And lastly, but most importantly, of course, I want to thank you the pupils, for your tireless energy and optimism, your adaptability and your determination. You have given so much over the last 12 weeks and I'm incredibly proud, I am incredibly proud of each and every one of you. So there's been a huge amount for us to learn from this coronavirus pandemic, so many life lessons. But I thought I'd focus on just three for this morning. Three things I hope you reflect on following on from this assembly. The first I think that's worth remembering is that health is everything. 
and we tell you to eat healthily, to exercise and stay from things which are bad for you. But I get it. In normal circumstances, these lessons can at times seem unimportant or difficult for us to really show you why. But not anymore. Now, older people might be worse affected by COVID-19, but those with underlying health conditions come a close second. And many of these issues we bring upon ourselves. It's being clear, becoming clear that maintaining a healthy lifestyle does protect us. So let's hope that this pandemic reinforces all of our efforts to instill the virtues of a healthy lifestyle was its front and centre of even the youngest minds. My second reflection is about connection. And social media is great. It's brilliant. Zoom and Google Meet have helped us enormously through the isolation lockdown and without it, providing the experience of live lessons and a virtual beads would have been impossible. But none of it can replace the very human need for physical connection. You know that, and you've missed your friends and you've missed your relatives. You see your mates on screen, but a surprising number, or maybe not so surprising, have been desperate to come back to school so that you can see your friends in person. You want to play, and I'm so happy that nearly everyone has had the opportunity to make the connection this week through coming back into school. You know, scientists have identified a condition called touch starvation, which is a lack of gentle skin to skin contact. Touch reduces stress and anxiety and alleviates loneliness. And the lack of it exacerbates or makes far worse. And these things can become a real problem. You know, your parents hug you close because they know how important real contact is. We're social animals, not social media animals. And now is the perfect time to spell out unequivocally that for all that whiz-bang technology, spending real time with friends and family is the only certain route, in my opinion, to contentment. And my third reflection on collaboration rather than competition. Because we're taught to compete from an early age. Everyone likes to be top of the class, the fastest, the most gifted on the sports field, in the pool, in the hockey team which means being better than everyone else. Yeah, we all want to win. And that's fair enough for some of the time. But humans are naturally social and naturally collaborative. We climb to the top of the food chain, not by having the sharpest teeth or the most incredible eyesight, but through working together. To get through this pandemic, we've needed to collaborate more than ever. And we, re we rely on each other to keep socially distanced. We rely on the cooperation of scientists throughout the world, often working thousands of miles apart to come up with treatments or vaccines. So whatever you think of things like Brexit or the isolationism of certain countries around the world, my reflection is that the world needs to work together to contain and beat a coronavirus, just as it will need to if we're to avoid environmental collapse. And now is the time to talk about the power of cooperation. So there you have it, three things to reflect upon. That didn't take too long, did it? So I move on to the next part of our final assembly. And I'm fortunate enough to have the heads of house who are going to announce the prize badge winners. I'm hoping, because this is live, that we're going to work on the technology and it'll all be smooth as you like. But we're going to be reading out the 100 points and the 150 point winners and those certificates will be emailed to you. We'd like you to wear your badges at the beginning of next term, and they'll be handed out in the first possible moment of the first assembly, along with the 30-point and the 50-point badge winners. Congratulations to all of you at whatever level you've gained. We've decided to focus on the 150 for this assembly, because otherwise it might be getting dark by the time we finish. So, colleagues, I hope you're ready. I'm going to call upon, and I'll give a, a raven. It's going to be raven, then hawk, eagle, and then falcon. And so I'm going to give you a little moment to gather yourselves. And uh, Mrs. Ram, are you available? Are you okay to be able to read out the 100, 150 point winners for raven? Hello. Can you hear me, Mr. Entwistle? I hear you perfectly. I shall mute myself for a moment while this happens. Okay. 
So Raven, well done. As always, you've been fantastic on collecting those points. And so going down the list with 100 points in reception, we have Rowan and Harrison. In year one, we've got Theo and Oliver and Livy. For 100 point badges in year four, we have got Matea and Darcy and Simon. And in year five, more 100 point badges are for Lacey, Max Collins and Max Mottram, Oscar Leatherdale, Iman and Violet. Moving into year six on 100 points, we've got Faith and Garth, Zach Patel, We've got Pippa and Woody and B and Erin and Zach Gamer. In year seven on 100 points is Humreen. With 150 points in year one, we have got, oh no, in reception, in fact, we've got Harrison also getting 150 points. Well done. In year one, we've got Livy and Dylan. Dylan's in year two. Charlotte also in year two has 150 points. Henry's got 150 points in year two. In year three, Seb Goodyear has 150 points and Stephanie has 150 points. Anna Rice Hoxley in year four, she has 150 points. And finally, in year five is Honor, also on 150. Well done, everybody. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. And congratulations to all of you in, in Raven. And thank you very much, Head of Section, Mrs. Ram. I'm going to call on Head of Hawk now. Mr. Allen, good morning. Uh, yes, good morning. I'm going to do mine slightly differently. I'm just going to present uh, a PowerPoint and talk it through that way. If that's all right. Can you all see that? Mr. Enwis, where's that coming up? Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. So we're all very proud of you all in Hawk, but the people who are receiving their 100 and 150 point badges um, are as follows. In reception, we've got Lavinia, who's getting both 100 and 150. Uh, the number in the bracket is how many section points she received. In year one, well done to Tudor, who got, gets his 100 badge. And Lexi and Bethany will both get their 150 badges. In year two, we've got a very successful bunch. We've got Arsene, Irina, Zachary and Mason all getting 150, whereas Matilda gets 150 badge. And in year three, well done to River and Luca, who both got their 100 badges coming their way. And James and Lily, are both getting their 150 badges. I'd just like to highlight Lily's. I think she's one of the few people, if only people, who's got over 200 section points. So well done, Lily. In year four, we have um, Aidan and Theo both getting 150 badges. And Jersey and Matt, uh, sorry, Jersey will get a 100 badge. And Max, you are due to get 100 and your 150 badge. Well done. And in year five, we have uh, Senna. Uh, 100 and 150 badges. Sunny, Jasper and Elijah will all receive 100 badges. Well done. And then a very successful group here in year six. All of you are getting 100 badges at the start of next term. That's Jai, Jay, Alex, Luca, Jemima and Teddy. Well done. In year seven, we have uh, Devony picking up her 100 badge. And I'd just like to finish by saying we're really, really proud of you all in Hawk. In particular, we're very proud of these people who are not only belong to Hawk, but they are the head girl, head boy and deputy head girl. We're very, very proud of you. And I'd just like to say good luck to everyone in year eight who are leading us. Thank you so much for all your efforts over the years. That's me done. Thank you very, very much, Mr. That's fantastic. OK, we're going to move on now to Eagle and Mr. Gisby. Hello. Well, firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for this award. My agent, um, all my family and everyone else. Gisby, uh, thank, Gisby. You. Gisby. thank you so much. 
wrong awards. Wrong awards. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. Uh, <clears throat> I've got them right in front of me. Well done to all of my eagles. You are absolutely super. You fly so high. And I would like to celebrate our 100 and 150 point badges by reading out this list in this fashion. 100 point badges go in reception to Salomi, Aris, and Olivia. In year three, we have 100 point badges to Louis, to Max, and to Will. In year four, we have Toby. In year five, we have Rosie, Luca, Lucy, and Serena. And in year six, we have Hayden, followed by Bosco in year seven, and Nell in year seven as well. Moving on to our 150 point badges, we have Miron in year one, Katya and Ranveer also from year one, Kenzie from year two, followed by Kira. In year three, we have Ada and Charlie and Jaya, with Finn in year four, collecting his 150 point badge, followed by Yuvraj in year four as well. And finally, Anya in year five. I'd just like to say it's been a pleasure to be your section leader. And I'm looking forward to the intersection competition next year, where we may make it seven years in a row. And good luck to everybody over the summer. Eagle One signing out. Excuse me, thank you very much for your time there. Brilliant, thank you. And well done to everybody in Eagle. And Mr. Fasio Lebarnes, head of Falcon. Good morning. Hello, can you hear me? All good. Lovely. Very difficult to follow the amazing PowerPoint of Mr. Allen there. Uh, that was very well done. But Mr. Interest is very clever because he has left the best section till last. So well done, sir. Um, that's very good. Well done, Falcon, for another amazing year. I'll go through them um, the best I can. I'm really sorry if I say somebody's name wrong. So these are for the children who are getting 100 point badges. So we've got Dexter in reception, Zach in year three, Scarlett in year three, Ksenia in year three, Brooke in year three, and Rose in year three. Well done, everybody. Then we've got Michael and Alex Volks in year four. In year five, We've got Enzo, Martha, Joseph Berry, Bella, Dayton, and Hattie. And in year six, we've got Ella and Oliver. So 150 point badges, fantastic achievement, everybody who's got these. Xanthi in year one, Sammy, Amelia, and Jack in year two. Uh, Jack, I think you're the highest in the, the year group at the moment, that's fantastic. Um, we've got 190 section points. Next person in year three is going to be Rose again. Sorry, you didn't get 100, you got 150. Jesse Hiscox in year four, you've got a 150 point badge. And the last one is Emma Volks, who is not too far behind Jack. You've also got a 150 section point badge. So well done everybody, fantastic work. Thank you so much. Mr. Fasio Evans, thank you. So <clears throat> I have the honor of announcing the year group winners and these will be uh, receiving gift vouchers and they'll be coming through the post for you or by email. I think it actually it might be by email. So congratulations to Lavinia Wyndham who won the most section points in reception. Well done. In year one, Bethany Allen, you're the winner in year one. Congratulations to you. In year two, as you've just heard there, well done, Jack. Jack Napier with your 190. I should say that Bethany, you've got 184, and Lavinia with 167. These are all huge, huge scores. And then in year three, congratulations to Lily Morris, who broke the 200 barrier. And in year four, to Clara Wigglesworth, who also broke the 200 barrier. Anya Lee Davis in year five, congratulations to you, with a mammoth score of 165. In year six, Emma Volks won with the most points and with 184. In year seven, congratulations to Humri Allens, and she will also be <clears throat> receiving the, a voucher as well as Naya Hooten in year eight, and she was on 95 and Humri was on 104. The overall winner, therefore, and um, we'll be getting an additional voucher. Congratulations to Clara. Clara Wigglesworth was the highest point scoring pupil for this term and she gets an additional voucher. Well done. And the overall section 
Cup will be announced on Saturday, so you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. And that will be coming, and that will be announced at the end of prize giving, which we are streaming at 10.30 on Saturday. So, now for something a little bit different. I have asked your form tutors just to say a few words about each form. They are in a random order, uh, in no particular order, pulled out of a hat. And I've um, asked them to, they're limited to a certain amount of time here, so they're under a bit of pressure, guys. But I know that they are desperate just to say a few things about each of their forms. So, as we go down the list, hopefully I won't miss anything out. I've got Mr Newbury in the background just to make sure I don't. I'm going to hand over to 6PB. Hello, everyone. Well, I've been really, really thrilled with the effort uh, that 6PB have shown over this uh, unusual term. Half of the form returned to school after the half-term break, of course, being in year six. But there's always been a real sense of community between those who were at school and those who stayed at home, just like we want one big extended family. Particular mentions go to Emma for her early morning musical interludes during registration, and to Lawrence also, working hard into his evenings in China, seven hours ahead of the rest of us. And well done in particular also to Amelia, her outstanding commitment when completing the virtual Ironman challenge uh, was uh, astounding. She undertook swimming, running and cycling exercises both in the real and virtual world and showed fantastic self-determination to accomplish this. I wish all of 6PB every success in the future. Well done, guys. You need to unmute Mr. Andrew, so. I knew they couldn't get through this, guys, without a little bit of a hitch somewhere. Okay. We move on to Mrs. Kenwood in reception. Thank you very much, Mr. F. Billy, for that little. <laughs> Hi. Uh, reception had a fantastic year. We've been lucky to have some of them back more recently. Um, we've had lots of exciting activities, lots linked to our core tips. And one of our favourites was definitely Super Potato, where they got to turn a very heavy potato into a superhero. One of my highlights of the year has got to be our dinosaur today, where we joined year one and two for lots of dinosaur themed activities. And they really enjoyed a visit from two six foot T-Rexes in the playground and finished that with a, a magnificent dinosaur lunch by the catering staff. I am so proud of all of the reception children. They've worked so very, very hard. And I'd like to thank all of them for their hard work and the parents for their support at home as well. And wish them a very lovely summer. Perfect. Thank you so much. Well done. Um, let's move to year eight now. It's uh, eight HR, Mrs. Rich. Good morning, everyone. I've really enjoyed being a form tutor to such a wonderful group of individuals. It's been a real privilege to share in this, their last year at Beads. 8HR have continued to inspire me with their positive attitude to life and learning. I've been so impressed with the way in which they've patiently supported each other, especially when we were just all getting to grips with the Google Classroom. I've really enjoyed looking through their photos they've sent in during the lockdown, especially of Harry sitting in the middle of the road reading a book, Amy cuddling lambs and Seb skateboarding through an empty hotel. I know they've missed seeing their friends every day, but it's had its perks. They've loved getting up later and being able to eat and drink whatever they like in my virtual science lab. Some have even managed to fit in a quick face pack at break, sharing photos with friends. There's been less time spent searching for lost school bags, uniform and pee kit, and more time to chat on Google Meet. This year's been so very different, but still with many highlights. Thank you so much, 8HR, for being positive, encouraging, and so supportive of each other, especially this term. Mrs. Rich, that's lovely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Madame Bravo is in France at the moment. Are you connected with us today? Virginie. We know that there was a time difference, so we might have to put something out separately for the wonderful year six VB. We'll come back, we'll come back. Now, could the, this, is, this was always the risk, everybody, of not doing something that was pre-recorded. So, 
Uh, Mr. Brewer, tell us about 7AB. Good morning. Um, I'd just like to thank all of my forum group for keeping each other's spirits up so, so well, and mine, over the last few months. It's been tough, but they've backed each other. We've had some great fun um, conversations, particularly in the chat bar, despite the number of times I've said, please stop using the chat bar. We've had some, some real fun. Um, I'd like to draw uh, attention and celebrate some things that have been going on outside of um, regular sort of schooling and, and lessons and things that people have done during the lockdown period. Um, you may have heard about this already, but I'd like to give a special mention to Leopold Schultes, who performed an outstanding act of generosity in building and donating forever uh, two huge Lego models to a uh, local children's hospital and rehabilitation centre in southern Germany. Um, and I've seen the photos of him presenting it, and it looks absolutely incredible. The time and effort he put into building them and then to donate them is just, just I was speechless, <laughs> unlike now. Um, Imogen Beale spent a lot of time and effort in the early part of the lockdown period with her family, making headbands and drawstring bags for NHS workers. I thought that was a superb act of kindness and citizenship. And um, I don't know about anybody else, but when we first got into this lockdown period, it was really quite an emotional time. And I had to turn away from the screen when she was telling me about that because I started welling up. Such an, an incredible thing to do. Uh, Imogen and Romilly, great friends. They've been sending gift boxes to each other drawing rainbows on the street where they live just to cheer people up and hopscotch um, outlines, things like that. Bo, uh, Bo Mills Benison, he's been, not only has he been beating Mr. Byrne at um, the physical challenges, uh, but he's also been taking part in charity events and uh, donating his own pocket money towards the cause. He's also sent in some really heartfelt and genuine um, emails of ki uh, kindness and gratitude to to me and the rest of his teachers. Uh, and that was just so lovely to receive. Emily Mort, she has shown uh, an entrepreneurial side to her. She's been asked to design graphics for endless fingerboards, and she's been even sponsored by them to compete in uh, some sorts of fingerboard competitions. Who knew that those irritating little toys that <laughs> teachers find irritating would actually lead to some sort of success for her? Um, she's also organised a Thursday night clap, as many of you would have done for NHS workers, but she organised that for her, home, for her own, own street in celebration of just how well they all adhered to lockdown restrictions. Um, fantastic. Stunning acts of citizenship that we've seen. Um, I'd also like to say a very fond farewell. Unfortunately, Emily will, will be leaving us. Um, not to return in year eight, which is a shame. And a really fond farewell to Emily and to Clara, who um, she was only going to be staying for the year anyway, but I know she will be deeply missed. She's a lovely girl, so popular amongst friends and staff alike. Uh, and finally, uh, I want to say a really big fond farewell and good luck to year eight, my year eight students, my, many of whom I've taught since they were in year five. Well done, guys. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we move on to 3AF. This is Fuller. Hello, good morning, everyone. And um, I would like to say, and I'm going to try not to get emotional, as I did this morning. My class know that I was rather emotional this morning. Um, I just want to say uh, I'm so proud of everything that you have done this term and across the year but this term in particular you have just been stunning with your the way you've worked your understanding and your kindness towards each other has really really stood out and um a particular um, person I would like to mention who's helped me out as well reminded me when my microphone is muted um, and I'm talking away and <laughs> and um, and also when my presentation is on pause, also showing um, other students how to do things and um, really helping out with IT issues. And that is Seb. Thank you for your calmness and just the way that you have been with helping others, calmly helping them. That's really appreciated. And everybody else, I'm just amazed at your enthusiasm, how you've kept coming back to my lessons. Thank you so much for doing that. And well done with all your learning and everything you've been doing outside of school. You are amazing, 3AF, and I will miss you next year, but I will see you around school. 
Take care. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Fuller. Lovely. Really lovely. And now we move on to Mrs. Perkis of 4MP. Thanks, Mr. Entwistle. I'm just not sure that camera's connecting. I have difficulty sometimes with the Wi-Fi at your end. Uh, oh, it's, it's on, but not on by the looks of it. <laughs> well, just go for it anyway. Let's <laughs> see what happens. I'll put the avatar back on. Maybe that might connect it back up. I don't know. Okay. No, it's not working. Okay, I just want to say a, a huge well done to everyone in uh, 4MPP. Uh, you've been super positive, engaged in everything. I really couldn't ask for anything um, more from anyone. Um, the work produced has just been awesome. Uh, some of my favourites have been uh, particularly the efforts with the with the videos, the kind of short little movies, uh, some of which were in even ancient Greek outfits. Um, they're just, just so many individuals and individual pieces to mention. Um, but from math, uh, maths challenges, myths, Greek vases, theatre masks, you've all really got stuck in. Um, it's been great. I'm really proud of you. And uh, you should be very proud of yourselves. Great job done, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Perkins. That's a lovely message. We move to year seven now, and it's 7LB. Mrs. Burdekin. Hello. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I just want to say uh, a fantastic uh, well done and thank you to all of 7LB. We have been registering and uh, learning from across the world, from Polina in Ukraine, Nadia in Russia, Marcus in Hong Kong and Bosco in Spain and obviously all of the rest of the form scattered around East Sussex, Kent, West Sussex and all the areas. Um, I actually worked out that every morning we register a distance of over 10,000 miles. So as a form we have travelled over 500,000 miles in 10 academic weeks since the end of last term which is phenomenal. Your attendance has been amazing again with huge time differences and motivation and enthusiasm. I decided to ask the children what their highlights were of the term, and they said that they loved the fact that during lessons and during the school day, they could eat ice creams, have 10 minute breaks, go trampolining, play football, see family, and just sit and learn with their pets. Uh, particular highlights for me have been the immense amount of section points, commendations, and I can't not mention Lola's science rap. It was incredible. Well done. You've been an utter delight all year and best of luck. I look forward to seeing you all into year eight. Thank you very much, Mrs. Burdekin. Fabulous. Mrs. Brown, we have now with ATSB. Oh, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to hopefully present my screen if I can just get it up in a second. There we go. Um, I was trying to think how to talk about my form and hopefully this little video will tell you more than I can. So I'll explain as what it is as I go along. It was taken on the last day of the Christmas term and they'd asked me if they could try the human chair challenge. And as you can see, I'm removing the chairs one by one and the class are supporting each other. And that's my memory of 8SB an incredible group of individuals who support each other and have learned to work as a team. I've been blessed this year to have the opportunity to get to know them and each and every one of them is amazing. Oh gosh, I can't get out of it now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well done. No, it's great. Stop sharing. Is Well done. Well done, Mrs. Brown. Love that. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And we move to 5TH with Mrs. Henry. Good morning. Can you hear me, Giles? Yeah, all good. Thank you very much. Yep, yeah, here you. So I've written a poem for my class, and um, here goes. 5TH have been great. The team was made of double eight. They've laughed and joked, but learned a lot. The move from four they really got. Moving around rooms was the biggest change, and at first it seemed slightly strange. They soon worked out where to go, but some did travel rather slow. I'm certain, yes, without a doubt, the blue stairs was their best hangout. In lessons, they were super good and worked as hard as they could. 
Section points have been won. They have deserved every single one. Miss Maynard wore them out at lunch. On the Astro, girls did bunch, together learning TikTok dances, whilst the boys avoided Mr. Allen's glances, as some tried with all their might to cause a raucous and play fight. The bell would always ring at two, but some still needed to go to the loo. Meanwhile, others were quietly reading, which I often found rather pleasing. The summer term has been quite a test, with maths lessons obviously still being the best. Um, learning at home, you all have sat making the most of Google Chat. I'm glad you managed to get out of bed. I'm sorry that one got big on her head. The work you've produced has been first rate, and now for September, we must wait. Thank you for a super year. Yippee! I hear you loudly cheer. Well done, Year 5. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Ms. Henry. What a lovely way to do that. And moving on to 5SG, Mr. Gisby. Hi. Well, 5SG, um, you have just been absolutely awesome. Um, I mean, I'm sitting in my classroom right now and it's just so empty, so bear and I miss you all. Um, your Monday morning buzz when you all come in. Um, yeah, it's so quiet without you all here, but you certainly made up for it in the registrations in the morning. I mean, we've had Mahoosive guinea pigs, we've had barbie eating dogs, we've had Rex the enigmatic style cat. Uh, it's been lovely to see what you've had for breakfast every morning as well. Um, your extravaganza parachutes that you've worked on the last few weeks, your Jabberwocky work, your drawings, your total contributions to everything you've done in this last term especially has been absolutely wonderful. And you've been an absolute pleasure to teach. Um, I can only wish you a wonderful summer and you've got everything to look forward to in year six. You're in such good shape, such a good position to move forward and you are all superstars. And I've missed you, but well done guys, have fun. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Gisby. Thank you. And to RB, this is Beth. Good morning. So you two, you've been absolutely amazing. And I just want to thank you for all your hard work. The work you've done, especially since you've been at home, has just blown me away. It's been awesome. Um, you've been learning about pirates, mermaids, sea creatures, lighthouses. You've created pirate ships, bathing machines, and puppet theatres, and some that you could even get in yourself, life-size ones. You got really creative with your spellings and what thought of ways to practice them using sweets, cars, coins, straws, pencils. And a couple of highlights for me have to be the caterpillar diary blogs that we did and the fact that we let the butterflies go live on Zoom, one of our Zoom sessions. And then a bake along that we enjoyed so much that we're going to have another one tomorrow just to finish the term off. So I'm really looking forward to seeing your smiley faces again for one last time tomorrow. And well done, you two. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've certainly been a blast. And well done for everything you've done. I'm moving on to 4MM and Miss McDonald. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Um, I am unbelievably proud of my wonderful class. You have been absolutely superb and such an enjoyable class to have all year. You've worked hard since day one, and um, I'm going to miss you terribly. Um, the main thing that comes to mind when I think about you, especially recently, but this goes for before lockdown as well, is just how supportive you are of each other. Um, I've noticed on so many occasions um, that you've been using the chat bar to praise each other, that other people's work other people's achievements. You are an unbelievably kind bunch of children. And I think that's the best accolade really I can give you. The work you've produced is, as always, beautiful and absolutely stunning. Um, there have been too many highlights to mention, actually. And um, but particularly, most recently, are your incredible borrower houses. Um, really inventive and imaginative. So very, very well done from me and have a wonderful summer. Um, lastly, um, congratulations to year eight and I wish you all the very best. 
Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for that lovely message. And we move now to Mrs. Wilson, 7SW. Good morning. I'd Good morning. like to say thank you so much to my wonderful class, 7SW. Um, there are three points I'd like to highlight about you, about my class. That is your positivity, your humour and your kindness. Positivity because every morning during registration, each voice would burst through the screen with confidence, rain or shine, no matter what tough challenges of the day were being faced, your voices were ringing loud and clear. And you made the most of situations, taking up new hobbies like gardening, walking, knitting, uh, converting a kitchen table into a pool table, uh, tending to local wildlife, uh, second humour, just being able to laugh. And can I just mention that our attempts to sing happy birthday in unison and in tune over the internet were certainly moments I won't forget. Um, we still need practice, I felt. And uh, finally, your kindness from applauding other successes in the chat bar to encouraging others when it was most needed, to creative endeavours such as an amazing video made on acts of kindness. I'm immensely proud of you all and I wish you much luck and much success in Year 8. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. That's lovely. And we move on to Year 8 now with 8GR, Mrs Ram. Hello again, everybody. Um, just quickly before I talk about my eclectic bunch, um, a big congratulations to Year 8 for getting through this term and the whole year. You've been wonderful to work with um, for intersection events, for the Year 8 events. The disco last night was brilliant. I'm nursing a small injury after some shapes were being thrown. Um, but you've just generally been such a great group and I wish you all the best in your next adventure. Um, I was going to speak about my form, but they often play the hilarious game. Mrs. Ram, your mic's not on. We can't hear you. So I'm going to do this slightly differently to make sure my brief message gets across. Hopefully it will work. Fingers crossed. <laughs> There we go. Hopefully you could see that. But thank you guys for being fabulous. Um, you're all so different. You're such individuals. And I know you will be successful in whatever you go on to do. So thank you for a great year. Thank you very much, Mrs. Ron. That's a lovely message. Well done. Very different. <laughs> and now to Mr. Fasciolo Barnes and 8SFB. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, all good. Lovely. Fantastic. Uh, I highly recommend the Year 2 Bake Off. Fantastic. It's really good laugh, that is, um, and good fun. Uh, thank you to my form. I don't want to name anybody in particular. Um, my form have always been fantastic. Uh, every morning they logged on during the summer um, to the remote learning. Uh, a few particular highlights for me for my form were we did a Kahoot at the end of the year, which they organised all themselves. I just sat there with my son um, and won a couple of hoots. Sorry, everybody, but it was Marvel. I know a bit about Marvel, but that was good fun. The school disco we did last night was fantastic. I think they had 100 people at one point watching, so there were even people from, from other parts of the world watching. Um, the year eight sleepover that I had, with my got my tent out in my garden. We had, I think, was about 20 children came to that from year eight. Really appreciate that. We had a really good time. Um, and I think only in, it, one student in particular, it's not out of my form, actually. There's a girl in year seven, Leona Baker. I've never had somebody make so many unique videos, so many amazing videos. Um, and you wrote me a song, Leona, and you sent it to me about me leaving. And I really appreciate that. And I think that kind of sums up Beads and, and Leona. So my former fantastic, but a special mention to Leona. Thank you. Thank you very much. I need to put a shout out for Leona as well, because I got a song. <laughs> so um, I'm not trying to say, you know, I got one too, but I did. And so Leona, thank you so much for doing that. Um, quite unexpected and really, really humbling, wasn't it, Mr. FP? That quite an extraordinary thing to receive, really lovely. Um, let's move on to uh, Miss Brody now in year one. One MB. Hello everybody, 
Year one has been absolutely amazing this year. I'm very proud of them all. We have done many fantastic topics in year one, including dinosaurs, pirates, sea creatures, and all things wild and wonderful. A particular highlight for me was we were lucky enough to go on a trip to Drusilla's. The children had a hands-on experience getting to know and meet and learn about a variety of creatures, great and small, and also used a map to navigate their way around the park. The children have all worked incredibly hard this year, both at home and at school, and I'm very proud of them all. Have a wonderful summer, year one. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to um, say um, sorry for um, Madame Bravo. She has had a technical difficulty out in France and uh, been in touch with her while this has been happening. And she has just absolutely loved you guys, 6VB. And I know quite a few of you have been in school as well, so I've had a chance to catch up with you as well. And um, just a few names here that I've got uh, um, in front of me. I just want to say well done, 6VB. What a tremendous class. When I look at the quality in front with Arthur and Luca and uh, Alexandra and B Crawford and Zach and, uh, and Rhodes and Teddy, Oliver, Erin, Theo, Louis, Ella, um, Artie, Woody and Jemima. That's a strong team. And I know that you have been superb in everything that you've done. And the way that you've supported each other coming into school when you've been able to, or remotely when you've been online, you should be very, very proud of yourselves. I know that Madame Bravo is really proud and she sends her love and her very best wishes. You can feel it coming in from over the channel where she is in, in France. So well done to you guys as well. Uh, form tutors, thank you. And um, pupils, I hope you enjoyed that. It was something a bit different, um, but, and there we go. So um, back to me, I'm gonna say some goodbyes. And, um, and then we've got a couple of notices and then we will be wrapping this final assembly up. Uh, so goodbye to teachers and on behalf of all of my colleagues and the staff and you and parents, um, I want to say thank you and a fond farewell to Tracy Wakeman, who many of you will know for her efficient running of the reception at the prep school. And Tracy's been a member of the admin team since December 2019. And I mention um, our leavers again, of course, in um, prize giving, uh, they have another mention or will do on Saturday. Um, Georgina Collier, one of our TAs, is moving on, as is Claire Moore, uh, another TA. They've been superb. I want to thank them hugely for everything that they've done for Beads while they've been here. And um, Ms. Boyland, Emmy Boyland joined in September 2018 as a school assistant and becoming a TA. And I'm just delighted that she's going on to do her PGC teacher training uh, in due course. So congratulations and good luck to her. And also to... Um, Ms. Warrilow, Lucy, our school assistant, she leaves us this year and she also hopes to pursue a career working with children, I understand. Um, I also want to say thank you personally to Mrs. Humphreys. She worked in reception to start with and this year she took on um, being my PA and I want to thank her for her tireless support of having to be PA for me must be really hard and I want to thank her for her um, enormous patience working with me. Um, I want to talk then about some of the staff who've been here for quite a long time. Uh, Mr. Atherton, Mr. A, did you know? I've got some facts for you about Mr. A. And I've just run through a, a couple of them. Um, I was astonished. I mean, he is quite an exceptional PE teacher. But did you also know that? Um, he's been here for 23 years as head of PE and boys games. He has had short spells as senior master and also as house master. Uh, he's a fully qualified coach in seven different sports and he was in charge of rugby and athletics um, for 15 years and also for football. Um, I think actually it was the football he was in charge of for 15 years, he'll correct me later, no doubt. Um, he was football tour organiser to the States twice, to Canada, Barcelona, Madrid, Lisbon, Milan, as well as um, organising cricket tours to South Africa and Dubai and Barbados. It's a tough life, I know, working as a sports coach. Um, also, an annual school trip used to run to Twicken as well. Um, Mr. A is particularly proud of the pupils. We've had three county champions under him and, and one uh, national champions. He uh, had a hand in and he probably take full responsibility and all the accolades for the career of Rob Buchanan and also James Graham, England under 18. Um, in athletics, um, he produced single-handedly uh, regional champions on an annual basis and several national champions over the years. 
uh, most recently Jack, well done to you, Jack Ford in the discus last year. His highlight, he says, was the four by 100 meter relay team. This is Mr. A rather than Jack, when they became national champions and equaling the national record. And that happened in the rain. So that's like on a wet track, which is quite extraordinary. Um, he talks about football with his under 13s, with the IAPS being national runners up. And the under 11 IAPS regional champions in 2019, we all remember that. He was also Southeast England coach for two years. Did you know that he quite enjoys dressing up as a panto dame? He saved Mr. Brewer's life when he was choking in the over lunch one day. He's run three marathons, six half marathons, and 10 Great South runs. He must be absolutely exhausted. No wonder it's time for Mr. Ray to hang up the trainers for a bit. And I have to say, um, Mr. Atherton, your time at Beads has been immense. And beyond all the coaching, sincerely, one of the very best PE teachers I've had the privilege of meeting in my 28 years of education. Hugely popular teacher and coach with the pupils and a good close friend to so many of the staff. We all wish him all the very best as he moves on to pastures new. Mr. FB, oh no, I hear you say. He is moving on. He's done incredibly well. He's going to move on to be head at uh, Dulwich College Shanghai Junior School. And he's been at B since 2015, I think I'm right in saying. And along with his team, he's made maths the amazing subject that it is. It's fun, engaging, accessible to everybody here. He's transformed the way we teach maths. And most of you rate the subject in your top three favorite subjects. He's hugely popular tutor infinite patience, uh, football coach, uh, badminton supremo. I haven't taken you on in badminton yet, Mr. FB. Perhaps we'll have time for a game before you leave for, for Pastures New. Um, Mr. FB joined the senior management team last year and he's been behind the scenes leading the remote learning team. So without him and the rest of the team there, none of this would have been possible over the last term. Whenever faced with a difficult decision or a problem to solve, Mr. Fasio has remained steadfastly resolute and always solution focused. He's a fantastic colleague to have, and I know that he's going to be incredibly successful in China. Scott, we all wish you the very, very best of luck going forward, and thank you for everything you've done at Beads. Uh, Move on to Mrs. Entwistle. Uh, I want to apologise for taking Mrs. Entwistle with me to London. Sorry but she's got to come. I know how much you've enjoyed her teaching of Spanish and how fortunate you have been to be taught by such a highly qualified, gifted teacher. Mrs. Entwistle spent much of her time teaching GCSE and A-level Spanish in some extremely selective and academic schools. So when teaching younger pupils, it made her a bit nervous at the beginning before she joined Beads, but I know that she has loved every single moment and is very sad to be leaving. And Mrs. Perks, she's been a superb member of the bead staff. Much loved by her year four classes, as well as when given the chance, she's a class act out on the games field and the games um, field as a sports coach. In fact, Mrs. Perkis is also a qualified PE teacher and she is taking up a post at Caterham School in within their PE department, teaching both the prep and I believe within the senior school as well. This is a fabulous, fantastic opportunity for Mrs. Perkis. Thank you, Nick, for everything that you've done at Beads for your time here. You've been a really, really key member of the team. Um, I just wanted to say a very, very quick one because I know that we did this last year, but Mrs. Morgan came back again to help out with science this year. I was going to get her to say a few words, but she's refused. Anyway, um, Mrs. Morgan has not left the um, field of play completely. Um, she's going to be helping with um, the archives, becoming an archivist, archivist, archivist. Yes, and also working with alumni as well. So um, I'm not sure if I'm in the right place to ask anybody to, if they wish to at this point, just say, if they want to say any words. This has not been rehearsed, as you know, but if there are any of the colleagues who are leaving, and I know Mrs. Entwistle has joined the stream so that she can't say anything, but if there's anybody here who would just like to say a couple of things, otherwise I shall move it forward if they feel they can. Scott, is there anything? I just don't want to put anybody under the spotlight here, but um, I'm going to. Oh, Mr. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to say thank you. Um, I obviously, as quite a few people know, I used to live in Taiwan and then I came back, I was living in Hastings and I was pretty 
pretty poor as a teacher then. I got told on most days I was not good enough to be a teacher when I was working in Hastings. And I arrived at Beads, a little bit worried how things went. And Mrs. Collins and Miss Entrance would took a bit of a gamble on me. Uh, no. And I'm very happy. Beads is a very unique place and it has allowed me to grow and my family to grow uh, and to where we are now. And I'm very grateful for that. So just thank you to everybody who's been part of that, all the children. You are fantastic. And just I'm, I'm very happy to have been here and it will always be part of my life. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to just wait for two or three seconds. And if anyone wants to hit the unmute, they can. Otherwise, I shall move off. <laughs> Thank you all, our staff leavers. So with Friday to go, we look forward so much to seeing Year 8. Many people, pupils in Year 8 tomorrow, they're coming for their move-up morning. Uh, year 7 into Year 8. And our Year 8 pupils. Our Year 8s. Wow. What an incredible group. 12 of you um, when you joined in reception. 72 as we leave Year 8. You've been an absolute bumper crop. Some of the kindest, nicest, uh, most fun, most demanding in a good way pupils that I've come across. And I say it every year, you've been one of the best year eights we've had. You're right up there, guys. You've been absolutely superb. My profound sorrow is that you're not getting the best send off that you deserve and that you deserve so much more, but we wish you all the very best for your next adventure into year nine. And let's hope there's an opportunity when things get back to normal to meet up so that you, we can say goodbye properly to you. But listen, you've been huge. Well done. Congratulations to everything you've achieved in year eight. And I say a few words, I will say a few words on Saturday as well about you. So prize giving is at 10.30 on Saturday. It's going to be streamed through YouTube and a link will be emailed out to parents beforehand. The recording of this assembly will also be available this afternoon from one o'clock once we've uploaded it to YouTube so that those classes who don't have beads addresses can also access this morning's assembly. Thank you very much for your time this morning. We shall now be signing out and I Mr. don't know. Hello, Mrs. Morris, yes. Yes, could I just have a, a couple of minutes please? Uh, all right. Yes, absolutely. Over to you. Thank you. So, sadly, after seven years as headmaster, Mr. Entwistle is leaving the Beads family to start a new headship at Durston House School in London. And words cannot express the debt of gratitude that we owe to him. I'm just going to share with you some of the words that the pupils used to describe you. Mr. Entwistle has truly made Beads Prep School a special place to learn. He knows all the children by name and cares deeply about their well-being. His cheerful welcoming of pupils at the door each morning puts a smile on their face, even on a Monday morning. He visits every class in the school and checks on each child. He's available to any parent at any time. He knows what makes each child tick what makes them happy or sad, and is a great listener who gives excellent advice and guidance. Mr. Entwistle has created a caring community at Beads, second to none. He has taught us to know that kindness and enjoyment comes first, and great learning will naturally follow. He's been a fantastic role model for us all, and regularly rolls up his sleeves and gets stuck in. The hearty laughs in cookery club, over the lunch table, and lunchtime football will be remembered fondly by us all. He has taught us to value teamwork and to value each other. Mr. Entwistle has been the inspiration behind the success of our school, and we thank you. I'm now just going to share some of the thoughts and memories that the children would like you to hear about. I remember when Mr. Entwistle first arrived and appeared in assembly on his unicycle, which was very impressive, Olivia. Mr. Entwistle always gives us a second chance, no matter what we did 
or what had happened. Max. Mr. Entwistle always makes people smile and is very reassuring. Clara. He always comes round the school and checks we are okay. He always finds a way to keep his assemblies entertaining, especially when he did the impression of a horse in assembly. 5th. I remember when I first joined in year two, Mr. Entwistle took us to the library and read us a story backwards. He made us laugh so much. Even after all these years, it still makes me smile and laugh. Nia. Thank you for helping me, Ranvia. It was fun when you gave us a ride on your bike, Libby. I remember playing on the Astro and Mr. Entwistle told us a joke. It made us laugh so much, Ada. If I had a wish, I could spend it on you staying. You have been the best headmaster I have ever had. You have always made my day and made me smile. The people at your job will be very happy to see you and I hope you have a nice time at your new job, Jessica. On my tour of the school, Mr. Entwistle showed me the swimming pool and splashed water in my face, James. He's always so cheerful and fun when he comes into the classroom, Rose. And there were so many more to read, but the last one is, on my taste today, he made me feel so welcome and feel better about moving from my old school in Bristol, Seb. Thank you, Mr. Entwistle, for making our school the best school. All your pupils at Beads Prep. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. That means a lot. Um, I'm not going to drone on now because I promised to come back after the summer because I'm going to say goodbye quickly when I can see you all in person. Have a fantastic summer. Keep on being brilliant. Thank you. I want to thank again the parents as well for everything that you've done over these last few weeks and for your incredible support over the last seven years. Had a, it's, been a, it's been brilliant. And um, there's, there's no other way of describing this school as one of the most exceptional, superb places for any child to grow up in. And um, I, I think I can say hand on my heart that I've got the best team of teachers and management that I've, if, if I ever get to work with people of that caliber again, I will be one very, very happy head. So thank you so much, everybody. And um, have a good end of term. We shall finish there. Thank you, Mrs. Morris. I hadn't um, counted on that. <laughs> thank you, everyone. And I'll hand over to um, Alex. I think you're, you're in charge for finishing off and uh, ending the recording. Okay, I've recovered there. Well done. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good rest of the day.